Hey you guys, I wanted to share with you one of, another one of my watches in my collection that uh, is one of my favourites. This particular watch is a Siegel 1963. It's uh, a Chinese pilot's watch and it runs a uh, column wheel hand wind movement inside. It's based on a Venus 175 calibre. The movement and the copyright to the movement was sold to the Chinese manufacturer Siegel who they bought all the tooling and the copyright for this particular movement and uh, continued to make it. They slightly changed the movement from an 18,000 beats per minute movement to a 21,600 beat per minute but pretty much it's the same as the original Venus 175 in uh, looks and it's the way it works as a column wheel uh, chronograph. Beautiful, beautiful movement inside, really, really accurate. Mine over goes about six, five, six seconds a day over, doesn't go under this one. Uh, but all in all, really, really accurate for that sort of uh, amount of seconds losing in a day. Uh, 38 millimeter overall and hand wind, there's no uh, automatic movement in this. Uh, sapphire glass on the front, although you can get it in a mineral glass on the front. Mineral glass, glass on the back, you can see some of the detail on the side of the case. The mineral glass on the front on the 38mm is domed and it's more like the original than this particular watch but it's pretty uh, well replicated to the original 1963 especially with the movement. The movement was used by the Russians as well in the Poljot uh, watches, the pilot watches in Russia uh, prior to uh, the later movements but uh, yeah all in all it's uh, one of my favourite watches, uh, really nice feel to the chronograph, you press the top button the chronograph starts pretty nice and crisp and a nice click to this uh, chronograph when it starts and uh, you can see there it's off and running you press the top button again and it stops nice and precise very very accurate and if you press the bottom button that uh, relocates it and sends it back in an anti-clockwise movement to uh, 12 o'clock lines up perfectly to the 12 nothing out of sync on it uh, I've had no problems with this watch, I wear it quite a lot, it wears well. In reality I probably could have gone with a bigger watch because my wrist is uh, quite big but uh, this is more authentic to the original. So all in all I would say that uh, it's one of the better watches out there especially for the price point between 200 to 400 dollars or euros and for that sort of money with this type of movement in that's uh, as good as most Swiss watches I would say really reliable really well manufactured and uh, really a pleasure to use all in all the strap that i've got on the watch is uh, a non-original strap it came with a nato strap but the only trouble with the nato strap is it tends to hide uh, the display back and obviously you want to see the beauty of the display back and its movings but uh, siegel one of the top manufacturers of movements for watches they go into an awful lot of watches around the world and uh, this particular movement is the charm of the movement. Uh, it doesn't bother me that it's not an automatic. I enjoy wearing it. It's got about a 42 hour power reserve once it's fully wound. And all in all, it's a very pretty uh, little watch. I say the only drawback for me is it's probably, with it being a 38 millimeter, it probably would have been a better buy if I'd have got the 42, but the 38, along with my Vostok and other watches, is the original sizes for that period and that uh, time. Anyway, it's just another one of my watches I thought I'd get out to you. It's only a quick video. You can see there's some Chinese engraving on the case back. Uh, I don't exactly know what that means, but uh, yeah, it's a nice watch to have in your collection. And most people who have watch collections have this watch. Anyway, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. If you've liked this watch and you like watching this, uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll get some more watches out to you in the near future. Thanks.